Hi everyone, welcome to Cafe IO. About an year back, I made a video about how to become a software architect and roadmap that you could have followed in 2023. About an year later, I'm getting a lot of traction on it. And surprisingly, the video wasn't doing good before, but now a lot of people are coming back to ask questions like, how do you get into architecture? So this video is a very simple conversation. Hai. I'm going to talk about how to get in the industry much more closer. If you want to understand the roadmap, the learning part, you can check out roadmap.sh. On website, you will roadmap. Or you can see my old video. I will put the link in the description. So what is a software architect? Or who is a software architect? What do they do? What do they do? So these are more seasoned roles, senior roles or mid-senior roles in the software industry where you are responsible for building software systems. So, there are a roles, hota hai. there are a lot of different kind of roles in the software industry. The first is developer, then you have tester. Developer is somebody who codes, coder, developers, SD, these kind of roles. Then you have testing roles. Then you have UI roles. And as you get mature, right, think of it like a lead or you get a lot of experience into it, you start to take more design level problems like, you know, not just focused on one single task, but looking at modules or systems as a whole. These roles are typically what is the starting point of architecture. Bohat sare type ke architects hote hain. There are application architects, system architects, infrastructure architects, network architects, security architect, enterprise architect. But the word essentially is a very large word. And what I mean by large here is really that it covers a lot of breadth. The amount of abstraction that architects look at is bigger. So it's not that uh, they look at every last level of code in the system, they're looking at the bigger picture. Now, some architects might get into lower level details, some architects might be higher in terms of level of abstraction, but that depends on your organization and the job role you are performing. So, so that's the first part as to what do these architects hold. Second question that I get asked very frequently is that what is the experience required for this? So the short answer is it's not very well defined, but you typically need to have four plus five plus years of experience to be even considered as an architect role. You can definitely clear some certifications in AWS or Azure or cloud providers and call yourself an architect, but it would be very difficult as you might not be able to connect to the real world problems. You need to have seen certain number of problems to be able to grow into architecture. Having said that, I am not discouraging to start an architecture role at an early stage. You can definitely start with associate architect roles, which are present in a lot of companies. And for them, if you have cleared some certification exams like AWS Solution Architects, Azure Solution Architects, which will require a couple of years in general, even uh, from an industry experience perspective. So minimum to minimum, two, three years to chahiye. But uh, if you can get more experience, that's good. What are the skills required to get into it? Like more from a, uh, you know, what kind of experience? Skill to hoga ki, you know, knowledge part. But what kind of experience? I think the ability to listen, a lot of soft skills, negotiation, relationship management, uh, stakeholder management are more soft skills. And again, I've talked about these things in my previous video and a couple of other videos related to interviews in this domain. But fundamentally, what is the right set of experience? I believe that you should have worked on multiple projects. The more systems you see, the more you learn, the more failures you have seen, the more error scenarios you have seen, the more complexity you have handled. Typically, somebody who has worked only in one project or two becomes very difficult for them to grow as an architect because they are used to thinking in that certain way. So it's also a good idea to look at diverse experience in terms of different organizations or different teams within your own organization where they are working on different problems. So, so the idea being that diversity helps in this case. The more problems you see, the, the greater it is. Now, certain roles definitely are more deeper. Like for example, if you have worked in certain industries like e-commerce and you're used to scaling a certain part of it, you might acquire some kind of specialization into scaling, let's say APIs or scaling databases and things like that. But the general word of architecture is more broad focused and more design centric. How do you keep upskilling then? Then that question comes, ki, ab ho gaya, chalo, I have understood, I have, I have the experience, certification bhi kar liya, industry mein thoda moda exposure bhi le liya, alag alag projects ka, ab kya kare? Like how do I keep on going with the trends, right? Lot of things are th being thrown at it. 
अभी थ्री फोर ईयर्स बैक इट वॉज डेटा साइंस बिफोर दैट इट वॉज क्लाउड डेवॉप्स नाउ देर इज यू नो ए आई बजिंग अराउंड अगेन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल जनरेटिव ए आई सो द शॉर्ट स्टोरीज पढ़ाई तो करनी पड़ती है यू नीड टू कॉन्स्टेंटली कीप ऑन रीडिंग कीप ऑन लर्निंग कीप ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्रैक्टिस एंड सीनारियोज यू हैव लर्न ऑन द जॉब दैट्स ग्रेट दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव हैड एंड आई हैव बीन फॉर्चुनेट एनफ दैट I've been part of organizations जहाँ पे training, learning and development पे काफ़ी focus था so I've learned there. But some form of structured learning, let's say, be it system design, be it infrastructure, definitely helps. So if you want to study some of these concepts in the more formal way of joining some courses, that would help out. The second key fact is how are you constantly churning yourself? So it's it's always a good idea to understand some first principles approach of why certain technology is getting popular. अंडरस्टैंड कि किस तरीके से पीपल आर यूजिंग दीज टेक्नोलॉजीज वॉट आर द एरियाज इन विच इट इज बींग यूज वेयर इज इट नॉट बींग यूज और नॉट बी यूज हाउ आर पीपल इवेल्युएटिंग इट आर पीपल पुटिंग मनी इन टू इट ऑल ऑफ दीज काइंड ऑफ थाट्स वुड ऑल्सो हेल्प यू थिंक मोर ब्रॉड एज एन आर्किटेक्ट नाउ अगेन आई एम गिविंग वेरी जेनेरिक गाइडलाइंस एंड बाय नाउ दिस इज मोस्टली टॉकिंग इन द रेंज ऑफ फोर टू फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस कमिंग अ लिटल बैकवर्ड इफ यू आर and in time let's say if you have just a fresher aapne just btech complete kiya hai ya bcms ka kiya hai then i think it's a great idea to start as a developer because as a developer you get to see systems you learn to write code you build your logic you learn to play with data etc now i am talking of development more from back end engineering perspective not so much in front end i honestly do not possess a lot of experience in front end so do not want to talk about it सो इफ़ यू आर वेरी यंग फ्रेश आउट ऑफ द कॉलेज आई थिंक अच्छा रहेगा कि आप लोग थोड़ा डेवलपमेंट करें लर्न सम एस डी रोल्स गेट इन टू इट एंड स्लोली कीप ऑन लर्निंग दीज सिस्टम्स कॉन्सेप्ट क्लाउड सीखो एक्सेट्रा एंड दीज वुड हेल्प यू बाउंस ऑफ इन टू मोर मेच्योर रोल्स इन टू आर्किटेक्ट रोल्स राइट सो दैट्स अ लिटल बिट ऑफ स्मॉल नेरेटिव इफ यू सम ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच बैक स्पुट इट इन द कॉमेंट आई एल शेयर माई वन टू वन टॉप मेट लिंक एंड यू कैन ब्लॉक माई थर्टी मिनट्स ऑफ टाइम इट्स वेरी नॉमिनली चार्ज अगेन नॉट एंडोर्सिंग की मुझे आगे पैसे दो मैं पढ़ा रहा हूँ कुछ नहीं इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू ब्लॉक टाइम दैट्स वेरी मच सिंपल स्टफ इफ देर आर क्वेश्चन दैट यू कैन डिस्क्राइब इन चैट दैट इज मच मोर अप्रिशिएटेड आई विल वेरी वेरी बी वेरी हैप्पी टू हेल्प आउट इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर वीडियोज लाइक दिस प्लीज पुट इन द कॉमेंट्स थैंक यू फॉर लिस्टिंग बाय